welcome to the program Islam Insight, a very special series essentially dedicated for our new Muslim brothers and sisters. How do we uh, commit ourselves to gain knowledge? Regarding Prophet Muhammad, please be upon him. I'd like to know, is hijab co compulsory for women? Somebody told me that a Muslim is not allowed to have relationship with a non-Muslim. Knowledge reveals the spirit of Islam. Who is a prophet and how can you identify prophethood in a person? Right. Who is a prophet? The prophet is a person who is appointed and selected by Allah Almighty. A prophet is a person who is given an instruction for people to advise and guide. Now, we know that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last of all the prophets. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions clearly in Surah Ahzab, Surah number 33, ayah number 40, that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the father of any of your men, but the seal of the prophets. So there is no prophet after Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But we know this question is arising because some people, somewhere, they also claim that they are prophets even after Muhammad, peace be upon him. And this is a disbelief. The signs or the identifications of the Prophet is mentioned again in the glorious Quran and in the Ahadith. Number one, this person to identify that he's a Prophet, you need to know that he must be divinely guided. He must be truthful. He must have the instruction from God Almighty. He must abide by the laws. He must confirm, believe and acknowledge the prophets of the past. He cannot come and say that prophet is not God. Because denying one prophet or messenger is the denial of all the prophets. Right? And you need to believe in all the prophets that were sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the sign of a prophet is he comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is truthful. He confirms the revelation that came before him to the messenger. He rules people with the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A person who is a prophet, he also is blessed with the divine guidance in, in a way that he explains and teaches people to submit to one God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hope that answers your question.